Hi there viewers, this is Glebro Junction and this is just a quick update on the, the progress that I've made on this first section of my new layout. Um, and this is, is going to be a quick video because not a lot has been done since the last video. Um, although most of the, this uh, section has now been completed apart from minor detailing. Um, so I'll just run you through some of the stuff that I've done and, and how I did it. Okay, so... Um, the first thing you'll notice is I've I've added the platform lights um, on this section. I've just taken them off my old layout and then just relocated them onto the uh, onto the new section. And um, and I've also added the uh, the people in the seats as well. Um, and that sort of stuff. I still got a few more things I think I need to add or remove. Um, as you can see. On the other side, and the camera's not really picking up that well, but as you can see, the uh, platform stuff is now on there. Um, the lights do work, but I haven't actually got them rigged up as of yet uh, because um, I haven't actually run the bus wire yet. So, but I have had them working and. Um, and they do work quite well, but obviously I've got to run the bus wire and I can't really have them work until that's done. Um, the next thing I've done is I've, um, I've finished the ballasting as well on the layout. And I've today weathered it as well because I've just received my new airbrushes. My old one stopped working properly. Um, so I just bought a new airbrush and then uh, I've spent most of the day today weathering it up. As you can see, it's come out quite nicely. I've decided to do the main lines, uh, the grey ballast, the same as my old layout, and then the uh, the freight stroke branch line in a, like a brown ballast. I've still got a little bit of touching up to do in uh, places like that. Um, but this is all this is all done, and all I did was to uh, to get the ballast right to the edge. I just uh, nailed a bit of cardboard right to the end um, of the uh, section, uh, both ends, and then I just ballasted down, and then. Uh, and then glued it and then left it to dry for 24 hours and then removed the, the bit of cardboard and uh, it doesn't really take that much ballast away with it and then it's um, as you can see it's ballasted right to the edge then and it comes up quite well now there is a gap between the two baseboards but once they're together and both ballasted you won't even notice it it'll just look like one continuous board and that's why I chose this MDF because it's, it's more squared than the last wood that I was using which was um, like a chipboard and um, it, it wasn't that great so um, and it's come out quite well and you can't even notice the brass screws either you can't even notice them once it's been ballast so I'm quite pleased with that the two inner lines um, are not as heavily weathered as the two platform lines because um, obviously DMUs and other locos tend to stop at the platforms and that's when you tend to get a lot more oil residue like you can see down down there um, so the, the actual main lines haven't got as much now I've also got lights um, you won't be able to see them because I haven't got them rigged up but I have got, got lights under the tunnel as well they're like a soft yellow lights so it gives it a really nice effect under there um, it does look really effective when they're on um, but like I said I haven't actually got them uh, rigged up as of yet um, I've also done a bit of weathering around the buildings as well um, the next thing I've done is I've added the uh, the street lamps on the um, station area. They they're all rigged up. Well, they're all rigged up, but they're not working at the moment because I haven't actually got them rigged to anything as of yet. But they do work. They work quite nicely. Um, I've also added my Glebro Junction um, sign to the station as well. Um, thinking about probably getting rid of these uh, these two BR signs either side. Um, and then what I've done is I've just added a little cameo um, network rail um, fixing or repairing the fence. As you can see, the, uh, the JCB's got it in its arms. So the uh, the line side workers or, or whatever they are will just um, make them some some new holes for the uh, fencing to go in. As you can see, we've got a couple of other network rail staff um, down by the van having a chat about what's going on with the uh, with the fencing. And the white lines and that have been added as well. Um, it's all been weathered up as well. And um, 
and if I just show you underneath all the wiring as you can see it's all starting to I'm starting to um, well I'm using tacks and tacking it all round um, I've just used tape over there for the moment just to keep going out of focus um, yeah as you can see um, I've got a lot of wiring under here um, a lot of it's starting to be tacked up now um, a lot of it's still hanging down uh, ready to go into the old chocolate blocks but there's um, there's not that many uh, lights on the actual layout but there's, there seems to be an awful lot of uh, of wires for it so I can't actually wait to get me uh, bus wire sorted out now the camera for some odd reason is not picking it up so I shall just carry on with the uh, stuff okay so um, now I've shown you uh, the bottom end of the, uh, the layout, the ballast and the, and the lights and stuff like that um, I got to the next point which is the warehouse which is now almost completed as well I've decided to turn this into a plant hire um, warehouse and um, I've now weathered up the building I've now added the uh, the building lights and the sign um, obviously this is a plant hire so this will be hiring out all the uh, the, lo uh, the loaders and the uh, the diggers and the JCBs and stuff like that um, I've still got a, f a few more bits and pieces to do to the actual building but as you can see I've got the uh, low load truck with uh, a few of the machinery and everything on there um, going out ready for uh, for their next job I've also added some barriers uh, down the side of the buildings as uh, down the side of the warehouse as well so obviously just to represent what what they have in real life stops the trucks reversing or crashing into the actual building itself and I've got that all the way down as you can see um, the other thing I've also done as well is I've added <coughs> I don't really see it that well but you can see if I turn the light on this road around here is not a normal tarmac road this is actually a potholed road and this comes as a kit it comes in with uh, I think three different types of powders and they are powders but it's like uh, it is like ballast and um, you spread it down and you and uh, into, into um, heaps and then you flatten it down with bits of cardboard um, and let it dry um, but you mix it in with, with PVA you let it dry and you use different colours and it gives you like a real rough pothole effect as you can see and it comes out really well and it's a kit from um, Geo Scenics I think it's about £7 for the kit in fact it's actually this stuff over here it's this Geo Scenics pothole road kit and um, yeah, it's got a few different types of powders and everything in it. And along with that, I've got some um, some autumn brownish colour static grass as well, which is something I was missing. Um, so yeah, I added, added that down in there. And um, it's given it a really good effect, so I'm quite pleased with that. Along with the signs, which I just printed off via the internet. And um, I decided to go for this Legat plant limit because it was a nice, big, colourful, bold... Um, sign and it stand out quite well um, along with the the cat sign because it's obviously cat cat pillars and Volvos and Lebert machinery that they're hiring out and I've also added these uh, little lamps as well and they're all on as you can see I've got two there and obviously two there for the sign I'll turn a lot if you might be able to see them a bit better um, now they're not too bright at the moment I think that's probably a bit too bright yeah, it's a bit too bright. You can't really notice it at the moment because I'm, I've got it um, plugged straight into my um, Dynamis. So, and I've, what I've done is I've got them going from 12 volt to uh, to 6 volt using the a resistor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the resistor out and then um, run it on a on a Hornby old DC unit. And uh, can't seem to get the picture in. Yeah, so I was running. I'm going to run it with the old uh, Hornby DC control lock I was uh, doing with these lights on the last layout, and I could just turn up the um, the power on the actual unit, and then obviously make these lights that little bit brighter, so it would actually light up the sign, and obviously the pothole as well, uh, pothole road as well, and I'm thinking of adding some uh, soft yellow lighting under the canopy there, because obviously this is the uh, the entrance that the uh, machinery is going in and out of. Um, 
I'm not sure if I'd uh, done the, the security fencing around here the last time I've done the video, but that's now been added. I've just got to add a little bit of um, litching and maybe a little bit of overgrown grass and everything across the top of it. Not too much, but a little bit. Just got to weather up the, uh, the concrete walling over there. Um, down in here as well, I've added loads of static grass. Um, I've even weathered up the, the van and, uh, and the machinery as well. And, and obviously the building, as you can see. Uh, just to represent like uh, rain, dirty rain, uh, streaky marks down the building. And I thought that was quite good. Um, and I think that's probably all I've done. So all the lights and everything are in. All the balance is now done. Um, all the detail, um, minus a few uh, minor things that I want to add. And maybe a few little changes I want to do. Um, I say all of it's in. The sign writing is almost done. Um, I'm still not 100% sure about this building yet. I may even attempt to... To recreate another style or maybe just alter this one slightly somebody mentioned about having just a glass front on the building which sounds like a good idea with a canopy which is something I might add but for the moment it's going to stay like that until I've decided what I'm going to do um, and then obviously the next section which I'm going to start building next weekend and I'll start from this bit here is uh, this section across here um, is not going to carry on uh, on one level um, where the uh, platform is going to be it's actually going to go down and it's going to be like a grass hilly section I'm not sure what I'm going to add there just yet but it's going to be some kind of scenery back scene um, that, well, that's the idea anyway so the next board will be um, occupied by the platforms again so um, I'm going to have obviously this pla this section and the next section that will give me 8 foot plus um, the uh, the ends of the platform I should probably imagine it will come to about nine foot altogether, and then I'll start adding the um, the signals and also the points and everything to the uh, into the platform station throat. But um, yeah, so that's it. I told you it'd be a quick video, and that is that is all I've done. I'm quite pleased with this this warehouse, how it looks from uh, above the platform. It looks quite good. Quite pleased with that. And then into the tunnel mouth. It's coming on quite quickly, I think. Um, I do tend to build very quickly. I take my time thinking about what I want. I do really um, look in, into the things that I want to build. Magazines, I actually go to model railway shows. Um, I look on YouTube and I snatch ideas off other people and I, I amalgamate them together and I make them my own. And I always know what it is I want. And uh, once I've got it in my head, I then start building and I start building very quickly. Um, maybe that's just me. Uh, I just like to get things done as soon as possible. Sometimes I make mistakes doing it, uh, but it's never stopped me from uh, from working at that speed. Um, but hopefully you will agree it's all coming along quite nicely. I'm quite looking forward to getting this board um, out now and then start uh, and make a start on it as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing as of next week, and hopefully after Christmas I'll um, start getting the sheds built ready for all this stuff to go in so um, that's it for me um, I probably won't have a, a, another video now for a little while because the next board I say will, uh, was going to take me probably about a month and it's going to be mostly the platforms and stuff like that which I've already done a video on so um, there will be some green scenery which I'll probably make might make a video on just so uh, for those that are not sure on how how to do that sort of stuff I may add a video on that as well um, so I wouldn't expect anything from me for a, a, at least a few more weeks anyway and um, hopefully fingers crossed this time next year I should have some trains running so thank you very much for watching please leave some comments good or bad if there's anything that um, you might want to see on the layout please let me know if there's anything that I have done wrong that may not be pro prototypical then please let me know um, I'm always open to uh, constructive criticism which um, which I did get quite a bit of on the station and it was well received and uh, I appreciate all your comments um, but what I will say if people want to do a thumbs down then don't bother watching my video if you're not interested don't watch it but don't put thumbs down and, and not ex leave any explanation as to why you're leaving the thumbs down because it's very frustrating if you're going to give me a thumbs down at least give me a reason why at least then I can maybe change a few things and then uh, hopefully you may put a thumbs up in the future anyway that's it for me 
take care for now. See you soon. See you again soon.